Hello and welcome to June's Flix Flix, the film and event magazine programme brought to you by Picturehouse Cinemas. My name's Flick and what a joy it is to present you with this month's booty. June is ablaze with red hot movies that include royal scandal, black comedy, religious war and true life documentary. Woody Allen, a documentary. From US screenwriter, director and producer Robert B. Wide, Curb Your Enthusiasm, comes a fascinating and insightful documentary on US like comic legend Woody Allen. His range is amazing. You have only to look at Bananas and Match Point. If you'd asked me what directors I, I'd wanted to work with, Woody Allen would have been at the top of my list. From writing jokes for comics in the 50s, covering stand-up, films, plays, music to the present day, Alan's career spans seven decades. Wide's obsession is comedy. Having done previous documentaries on the Marx Brothers and Lenny Bruce, it shows in this precise, honest, non-sycophantic analysis of a man obsessed with analysis. So much of what's filtered out about me over the years has been completely mythological, I mean, completely uh, exaggerated or downright untrue. And some of it's been true, of course. A Royal Affair is from the Swedish team that brought us the Girl with Dragon Tattoo series, not the Daniel Craig version. Set in the 18th century and based on the true story of English Princess Caroline's scandalous affair with a doctor while married to Danish King Christian VII. This is a dark, violent, murky world full of superstition, royal divinity, politics and intrigue. Christian is clearly mad and the doctor brought in to cure him, however, also has ideas of enlightenment, revolutionary at that time. This is as much a political thriller as a romantic period epic and is totally contemporary in its gripping, unfolding narrative. Turn the poison upon his feet, Where Do We Go Now is a musical comedy drama and the second feature from Lebanese actress, writer, director Nadine Labaki. Her first was the internationally acclaimed Caramel. <laughs> Set in a secluded Middle Eastern village where the mosque stands next to the church and the villagers, both Muslim and Christian, live in peace. The idea for the film arose from Labaki becoming a mother and imagining the lengths she would go to to prevent her son going to war, especially over trivial religious squabbles that should never end in bloodshed. Her imaginings involve the women of the village cooking up distractions that include hash and strippers as ploys to prevent the fighting. A beautiful, well-intended fable. Killer Joe is a very black comedy from director William Friedkin, The French Connection and The Exorcist, and stars Matthew McConaughey as a contract killer by night and an officer of the law by day. You ever hear of Joe Cooper? He's a cop. A detective, actually. Got a little business on the side. What you do? He kills people. He is hired by Chris, Emil Hirsch, into the wild, who owes a lot of money to some very nasty people to kill his stepmother so he can get her life insurance. But as a retainer, Killer Joe wants access to Dottie, Chris's little sister, 
played by Juno Temple, Atonement. Now, I have never been a McConaughey fan, but this part fits him like a glove. His inner Robert Mitchum, a la Cape Fear, must have been screaming to get out. Juno Temple is also a revelation a la Juliette Lewis in the other Cape Fear, which is no bad thing. Not for the faint-hearted. Who told you about Killer Joe? Oh my God. Were you gonna get a cut of this money? What are you getting at? <laughs> Who's that? Yo, listen, we gotta stop this. A toast to my future wife. My sister never did nothing to nobody. I can't let you have her. The retainer for the money. I'm not leaving until I get my money. You know I'll kill you. It smells heavenly. Who would like to say grace? This month's Flix Picks is a smorgasbord of cultural delights. This month, Discover Tuesdays celebrates amazing British cinema with the wartime masterpiece Passport to Pimlico, Hammer Horror's 60s classic The Plague of Zombies, 70s surreal cult sci-fi The Man Who Fell to Earth, starring none other than David Bowie, and David Lean's 50s romantic comedy Hobson's Choice. This June hosts the annual Screen Arts Summer Season, an amazing arts program that brings world-class productions to the big screen in glorious high definition. It kicks off with the first of five productions from Glyndebourne this year, The Cunning Little Vixen on the 10th of June, and includes content from the Met Opera, Sydney Opera House, the Bolshoi Ballet, and for national theatre fans, there is another chance to catch last year's hit, Frankenstein on the big screen from the 14th of June. In high demand, so book ASAP. And speaking of Glyndebourne, we will be screening the world-class Opera House's 2005 production of La Cenerentola on June the 22nd. A fabulous retelling of Cinderella with an irrepressible score from Rossini. To get you ready for our encore screenings of the New York Met's The Ring Cycle at the very end of June and early July, we have a fascinating documentary that will take you behind the scenes of staging this notoriously challenging production. Screening at participating picture houses on Wednesday the 20th of June, this enlightening documentary takes you deep into the artistic and musical challenges facing the creators of this epic work. On Sunday the 24th of June, the Bolshoi Ballet presents Raymonda. With a lush, exotic score by Alexander Glazunov, Raimonda tells the tale of a French noblewoman betrothed to a knight of the Crusades and her attempted abduction by a spurned Saracen rival. On Monday the 25th of June at 6.30pm, London 2012 Festival Shorts. The premiere of four brilliant short films celebrating the games from the cream of British directors including Mike Lee, Lynn Ramsey, of Capadia and Max and Dania. That's it for June, but of course there's always more handy information for you cinephiles out there at picturehouses.co.uk, our Facebook page or our Twitter feed, or pick up a copy of Picture House Recommends at your local Picture House foyer. Thank you for watching and see you again in July.